There's one shot of it, and I think there's, there's the other shot right here. Andy Schwab is feeling a little more optimistic about the future of what many consider a Kelowna icon, the Fintry Queen. Not that long ago, Schwab put out a public appeal for investors to come forward because time was running out for the Fintry, which ran into bankruptcy three years ago when the owners pulled the plug. In, in August of 2008, they just all walked off. As the Fintry sits idle over the years, it has accumulated a large debt. For instance, it owes the city up to $80,000 in docking fees alone and the list keeps growing. The cove is owed over $100,000 for damage to a dock. Uh, the province and the federal government each have uh, uh, debts that are owed for unpaid income tax and unpaid wages. One possible scenario is to scrap the Fintry. The worst case scenario, yes, would be to scrap the, the Fintry Queen and uh, right at this point in time we're unsure uh, what the best way to scrap the Fintry Queen would be. It's a large vessel. Forbes says the city wants to see the Fintry move no later than early next year to make way for expansion of the Kelowna Marina. Schwab agrees that the Fintry needs to be moved and he says half a dozen people have expressed an interest in doing something with the ship. Some are uh, looking to operate a restaurant tied up to shore. Others are looking to perhaps take it to other places on the lake and park it in front of their property. And others are interested in just purchasing the vessel and others are interested in operating it. Schwab puts the chances of the Fintry sailing again at 50-50. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.